Hey YouTube, it's TechLank9 from Android AndroidTechThatBlockspot.com As you can see in the corner right there, the website, check it out for video tutorials and all that And today I'm going to be showing you how to how to unroot or how to bring your phone back to stock ICS Alright, for Galaxy Nexus, GSM, USA or international version, doesn't matter, just GSM version So the first thing he's going to do is going to download the file, which will always be in the description like usual So download that zip file from um, provided by DevHost and you will get to this, you will have the zip file stock ICS Galaxy Nexus GSM you're just going to be opening that up and you'll get this folder right here just open that one up too and you'll get this one you will get Odin, Odin and stock ICS Galaxy Nexus alright so first thing we're going to be doing is entering our phone into download mode so what you want to do is plug in your phone so let's plug it in so we'll plug it in via micro USB micro USB and plug the other part in through the USB part and make sure that you have the correct drivers installed for your phone if you don't I will have a annotation right here that will link to the description on how to get the correct drivers for your Galaxy Nexus phone that means CDMA and GSM for Ryzen, Sprint and the International or USA version for GSM so after you got the correct drivers installed and you got it plugged in we're going to be entering into download mode so you just want to power off first so just power it off give it a few, a few seconds alright now we'll be holding down the volume down and power button nothing else just these two buttons volume down and power so just keep holding down those two buttons and when you feel vibration you can let go of it Alright, you felt the version, and now you'll be into here. As you can see, it's downloading, do not turn off target. And you have this, and it says Odin mode right at the top in red. So just set this aside now. And now we're going to go back into the computer. So now we're going to go back, and you can see all three files are here. Let me zoom in so you get a better view on that. Just the screen. Alright, so we're just going to be opening up Odin. So double, alright. First, we're going to be extracting the file. So extract stock ICS, Galaxy Next GSM. I already have that file, so I'm just gonna copy and replace. Copy and replace. This should be one more. All right, so it's gonna just transfer to your desktop because it it can't open in a zip file. So now you're gonna have have it right here. So you just extract the zip file to the desktop, as you can see here. Open that file up and open Odin. And now if you do have the correct drivers installed, you will get this yellow bar. If you don't have that yellow bar, that means you don't have the correct drivers installed. And as you can see here, it's, it will still be here, how to get the correct drivers for your phone. CDMA, Sprint, Verizon, and GSM version. So now we're just going to be clicking here. And now we're going to click on PDA. And we're going to be finding that tar file. As you can, let me just go back to desktop. And you can see... That's the stock ICS Galaxy Nexus GSM folder that we extracted to the desktop. So we're just going to open that up. And you can see that we have the tar file. Stock ICS Galaxy Nexus stock tar. So we're just going to open that up. As you can see, it's in PDA. And nothing else is checked marked here. Only auto reboot. Only auto reboot. Alright, guys? Nothing else. And we're just going to click on start. Now, this will take a few minutes. It will not be quick. It'll take about six. Five, five to seven minutes depending on the speed of your computer and all that so I'll be back when this is almost done alright it just finished finished rebooting and you can say it did pass it had the blue reset sign and now it's on pass and now you can see on my phone that it is rebooting now and while this process was happening in Odin you could see a blue status bar as how much it was almost done if you were looking at your phone while this process was happening so I'll just wait until it's finished rebooting, then I can show you that it's back onto stock ICS. And this reboot will take a little bit of time because this is the very first stock ICS you're opening or you're turning on your phone. So give it a few seconds, uh, wait about five minutes, and you should be good to go after that. Alright, it just went to the front setup screen when you usually just first factory reset or anything like that when you flash in your RAM it gives you all these options 
So we're just going to be skipping and I just want to show you that it's back on stock ICS. I will show you the kernel and everything. So let's just go into settings. Settings. About phone. And there you can see it is 4.0.4. And you can see my kernel which is stock kernel. That means it's not a developer kernel or anything like that. So that is how you get your phone back to stock, ICS for GSM. Thanks for watching guys, this is TechBank9 on how to bring your phone back to stock ICS on GSM Galaxy Nexus. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, which it does help me a lot. So please don't forget to subscribe if you found this video helpful and you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it.